नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग स्टडे दी सीवियर हीट वेव टू हीट वेव कंडीशन वर प्रिवेल्ड ओवर सम पार्ट्स ऑफ साउथ पेनिसुलर साउथ कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश एंड हीट वेव कंडीशन प्रिवेल्ड ओवर सम पार्ट्स ऑफ तेलंगाना एंड इन आइसोलेटेड पॉकेट्स ओवर रायल सीमा नॉर्थ इंटीरियर तमिलनाडु एंड नॉर्थ इंटीरियर कर्नाटका स्टडे दी मैक्सिमम टेम्परेचर्स वर इन दी रेंज ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स टू थर्टी नाइन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड ओवर मैनी पार्ट्स ऑफ प्लेन्स ऑफ नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया ओवर गुजरात महाराष्ट्र ओवर मैनी पार्ट्स ऑफ द ईस्ट इंडिया हाउ एवर ओवर दी साउथ पेनिसुलर इंडिया द मैक्सिमम टेम्परेचर्स वर इन दी रेंज ऑफ फोर्टी टू फोर्टी थ्री डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड मेनली ओवर दी रायल सीमा एंड साउथ कोस्टल प्रदेश एंड तेलंगाना द मैक्सिमम टेम्परेचर्स वर समेयर बिटवीन फोर्टी टू टू फोर्टी थ्री डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड over the east india maximum temperatures very likely to rise by 3 to 5 degree centigrade in the upcoming 5 days and over the plains of northwest india maximum temperatures very likely to rise by about 2 degree centigrade in the upcoming 4 to 5 days and over the rest parts of the country there will not be any significant change in the maximum temperatures maximum temperatures are above normal by about 3 to 5 degree centigrade over south coastal and pradesh and some parts of north interior tamil nadu some parts of rayal seema and some Some parts of the uh, Telangana, which can be seen in this map in the red color patches, and if you look for the uh, heat wave warning, then mainly the heat wave conditions continue to prevail uh, over the parts of uh, peninsular India, particularly over the Telangana, South Coast and Pradesh, Rayal Seema, North Interior Karnataka, and the North Interior parts of the Tamil Nadu. And from tomorrow onwards, mainly the uh, uh, there will not be any heat wave conditions over the peninsular India. Except at one or two places over the north interior Karnataka, and from 10th of April onwards, there will be the complete abatement of the heat wave conditions from the. peninsular india and if similarly if we look for the warm night conditions then mainly over the north interior karnataka warm night conditions very likely to prevail uh, during next two days and from 10th of april onwards there will not be any warm night conditions over the any parts of the country and if we look for the hot and humid weather then it is very likely to prevail mainly over the tamil nadu kerala and coastal uh, areas of the gujarat state during next five days and hot and humid weather is also likely to prevail over the coastal karnataka till 10th of april and over the coastal and pradesh and rayal seema during next 4 uh, to 5 days if you look for the today's main chief synoptic features then today a cyclonic circulation lies over the south rajasthan another circulation lies over the marathwada and over the peninsular india a trough which runs from the north coastal and pradesh which goes up to the uh, uh, tamil nadu across the rayal seema and over the north east india a cyclonic circulation also can be seen over the north east assam in the lower tropospheric levels because of these synoptic features if you look for the uh, mainly the heavy rainfall warning then uh, um, uh, uh, only the arunachal pradesh is very likely to experience heavy rainfall or heavy uh, snowfall activity at one or two places on today and tomorrow from 10th of april onwards there will not be any heavy rainfall over the any parts of the country and if we look for the hail storm warning then on today uh, south chatisgarh and at one or two places over the bidarwa hail storm conditions are very likely and from 9th april onwards there will not be any hail storm conditions over the any parts of the country and if we look for the rainfall forecast then as we can see in this map mainly the A rainfall activity will be confined over the central India and adjoining parts of the east India and some parts of the peninsular India and northeast India also continue to receive the light to moderate rainfall activity over some parts during next five days. As we can see, the major rainfall activity uh, will be seen over the Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Vidarbha, Jharkhand, and Gangetic West Bengal and today, where the thunderstorm and lightning and gusty winds also will be seen at one and two places. For on tomorrow, the major rainfall and thunderstorm and lightning activity. Will be confined over the Chhattisgarh, Bidarbha, East Madhya Pradesh, and adjoining areas where the thunderstorm, lightning, and gusty wind uh, uh, likely to prevail uh, of 30 to 40 kmph. And from the 10th of April onwards, the major rainfall activity will confined over the uh, central India, particularly over the Madhya Pradesh, Bidarbha, Chhattisgarh, Marathwada, and some parts of the adjoining states where the light to moderate rainfall activity, thunderstorm, lightning, and gusty wind of speed 40 to 50 kmph will be. seen over all those regions however over the adjoining area such as the south uttar pradesh rajasthan uh, telangana coastal and pradesh tamil nadu and kerala only light rainfall activity will be seen and on 12th of april uh, major the 
thunder storm and gusty wind and moderate rainfall activity will gradually decrease however the light rainfall will be seen over some parts of the peninsular india some parts of the central india east india and adjoining parts of the plains of northwest india for more detailed weather information you can visit the imd website you can follow us on our facebook page and our twitter page thank you